Manchester United are 16 points behind Manchester City. Hey, bro, it's Jose Mourinho 4. Hey, bro, you know, this, Manchester United is terrible. Hey, bro, Alexis Sanchez in the money to nothing. Hey, bro, Pogba got substituted. Hey, bro, and then left Lukaku on just. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Let Jose do his job. If Pep take off De Bruyne, nobody got a problem with it. If Pep take off Sterling or Grell, they got no problem with it. But as soon as Jose Mourinho made a key substitution, everybody want to talk about it. Jose Mourinho basically took off Pogba because he wanted more fluidity in the midfield. As Pogba been missing for the last two games. You know, great players, shit happens to them. So they need that substitution to remind them like, yo, you need to get back on your shit, homeboy. You feel me? And everybody talking about, oh, 16, 16, 16, 16. Shut up. We still in second place. We improved dramatically from last year. Why is it such like a defeat? I have Manchester United fans that down. We need to be walking up with our hell that didn't give us our self pat in the back. You know what I mean? We don't lose like Liverpool. We don't lose like Manchester City when we lose. You know? It is what it is. And I'm pretty sure that we are going to finish second. And at the end of the day, that, you know what I mean? That defeat against Newcastle United not going to mean nothing. And those teams that need to basically focus on them winning need to actually do that instead of worrying about Manchester United dropping points. Manchester United are in the round of 16 of the Champions League. Manchester United won the Europa League. Manchester United stood second in the, um, in, the, in the Premier League table. Manchester United, man, Manchester United basically made a big old improvement from last year. So why in the fuck we walking with our head down when we lose a game? Why criticize Jose when he lose one game? But if you win two in a row, he's the great, he's the GOAT, he knows all the tactics, right? As Manchester United fans, we need to back our manager. We need to stand by our manager. He may not make the substitution or the tactics that we like, but when he parked the bus and win, <coughs> nobody complains. Nobody complains. Arguably today, Marshall was one of the worst finishers today. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, could have buried it. And I know I criticize Rashford a lot. If that was Rashford who missed that opportunity, we would have been tearing his ass up in the media today. You know, Marshall definitely need to do better with those type of finishing. And there was one inc um, occasion where Alexis Sanchez had a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He didn't have no hips to turn and hit the shot. That was a clear goal. And get, let the goalie get into position to make the save. You get what I'm saying? Pogba was missing. And... Man, we need Bailey back. We seem to forget about Bailey because he's been out with a long time injury. You know, we need Bailey back and Lindelof needs to get his shit together and, and you know what I mean, and submit himself alongside Bailey. Or we might have to go get the real Manolas, or we might have to go get Jimenez or Varane. You know, we need another defensive center back. Mane! You know, man, this thing is crazy. I'm a Manchester United fan. I'm walking with my hell high with the defeat against, you know what I mean, with, man, with Newcastle United defeating us. Because at the end of the day, all I see is progress. You know what I mean? A loss in our record, putting us 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. Fuck up. 16 points ain't got nothing to do with it. We was already behind 13. 10 was going to make a difference. 10 was going to make a difference. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm disappointed in Jose Tag 6 today, but that doesn't give me the right to criticize him because that's just one game. We're still in second place. We don't have no, you know, we're not even in the, the table. Like, we're not even in a place where we like, okay, we're going to miss top four. Top four, you know what I mean? Basically, top two is our realistic goal. So I don't know why everybody is panicking. A team would be 4 1. We're supposed to be to beat them again today. But. I guess the ball didn't roll our way, you know what I mean? It seems like the game, we wasn't going to win the game anyway. And we got those type of games in football. It's football. The ball haven't kicked yet. And, you know, I predicted Man United 2-3, 1-2-1. One, 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 but that did not happen. Today we decided, you know what I mean, we didn't come out to play today. You feel me? And we let them actually get away with the victory. 16, 16, 16, 16. Shut the fuck up. Respect the GOAT. Respect the special one. And City fans just starting to basically, you know what I mean, get a little exposure, get, get, like, you know what I mean, they're just starting to get to their winning ways. And they feel like they're on top of the world. I guess that's what happened to sore losers. To sore losers. And that team, the other team with red, you know what I mean, the other team with red that, that have a trophy case with red less trophies the past five, six years, still got a lot to talk about. I'm on y'all asses. My mate, Liverpool versus everybody, all y'all that got said smart to say about the reds. Come on and break it on. I'm not playing no games, man. Respect the special one.
Please don't forget to like and subscribe, man. Manchester United fans supposed to be walking with their hair on high. Not putting their head down and criticizing Manchester, um, Jose Mourinho or the players. The players, the Jose Mourinho is not on the field. The players are on the field. They had opportunities to finish, but they did it.